Hello, my name is Ben, and I'm going to give you a very quick overview of the Sanguinor. So, this is my variant of it, first of all, um, just going over that power level 9. Um, the base is from a company called Evil Mushroom, who's no longer um, in business, however, unfortunately. However, if you do want to make something similar, most of the body is um, from the AOS range. If you go to the Stormhost Eternals, you'll find um, Celestine Prime to use that for. And also the jetpack just here. That was from the actual uh, Dante kit itself. Uh, I used a different backpack for Dante, um, but you'll see that in a later video, potentially, if I do it. Right, let's go over the, some of the basics. So movement is obviously 12, weapon skill 2+, plus, plus skill 2+, plus 4 for the strength, but that can be modified obviously with its weapon. Toughness, 4, wounds 5, 5 attacks, but again, there's something to increase that with. Leadership of 9 and 2+, plus save. Or going over the 2+, plus save, just making it aware, uh, making it apparent that the Iron Halo, which also is not stock, I've added my own variant of it, is a 4-up in Vun save for this character. Um, as mentioned about the strength, uh, it's equipped with an Encarmine broadsword, so it's a melee weapon, it's plus 2 strength, pushing this character up to 6 strength effectively, minus 4 AP, so if you're attacking Terminators, great taking on some elites. Uh, better than your standard power sword, only, but it's only minus 3, which is still pretty good though, to be fair. Damage wise, now this is nice. D3, I would rather a flat 2, but D3 is still pretty good. Frag and crack grenades, not too bad if you want to do a bit of overwatch, it's the only real option you've got going for you. Abilities, and they shall know no fear. Um, so just re roll your leadership as effectively. Um, you've got a lovely aura going on here. The aura is plus 1 attack. So if you throw him in with, say, Duff Company, um, put him in a big blob of something that's just about to charge. So you've got Duff Company with, say, jump packs, um, and you can make that lovely 3d6 assault uh, from one of the stratums. Then, you know, crack on. This is a really nice model to have in the middle of everyone. Then uh, you've got... Uh, Avenging Angel, so the Sanguinor can charge even if he falls back in the preceding movement phase, which is really nice. So you get out of there, get in there, um, really give some kind of uh, hindrance to the opponent if you can. Death Mask, which is kind of semi useful in 8th edition, uh, I suppose, if you're going against something with low morale. Um, so the unit suffers a minus one modifier uh, within three inches. Now, this applies to any models wearing death masks, however. Uh, and obviously you can use the death pack, sorry death pack, jump pack assault. So this is again a, a version of deep strike. So you're nine inches away and yeah, if you want to, deep strike down, push them in with that um, jump pack unit we mentioned about the Death Company with jump packs. Uh, giving them all plus one, it'd be really nice actually. It would be really, really nice. Plus one attacks. Um, yeah, you could com uh, combine this character with other characters again, but to be fair, I would probably take him as my um, my Warlord. Okay, this has been a very quick overview of the Sanguinor. Um As mentioned, power level is nine. And yeah, it's well worth taking, to be fair. And if you want to use under the point level or equipment involved so you've got the sanguinor down as being 170 points thank you very much